Chris, as promised, just a short video. First thing you're going to need is a little container like this so we don't lose the screws and the washers. And then we'll just get on with the quick conversion or repair if you like. What we need to do is just pull the bracket out, push that to one side. Next thing we need to do is hold in the bottom here, turn the little nylon plastic top off like this by spinning it that way, which was clockwise. Okay, now we're going to take the four nuts and bolts out here. A little bit fiddly to do, but I'll start the first one and then we'll come back in shot again with the other ones out. So I've just shown you what I'm doing here. We've got a ratchet screwdriver that which will come down with the kit and a ring spanner on the other side, like so. And we'll just take those off. Now there's also a bracket in the middle, which you can see your A, C, B, E, F, D. That's got to come off too. So when we come back and shot again in the video, we'll have all that off. Okay? Cheers. Hi again, Chris. I just thought I'd show you this. I was taking it apart and forgot. When you're taking these two back ones out, just push the plastic in. Use the ring end of the spanner over the top before you try, try and take them off. Okay, we'll come back shortly. We've taken the two bolts out now and we're just going to lift this bracket off the top like so. And now get our wrench. And on this unit here, it's make sure it's nice and tight on there. And what we're going to do is give it a really hard hit um, in the and uh, in the clockwise um, direction. So clockwise. Just should demonstrate that again. Clockwise. Then we can spin this around, pull her off, and under you, underneath you'll see where the the nut and bolt is, or the shaft and the nut. And what we're gonna, I'm expecting is that this has come loose on the one that Peter and Lee have got. Oh, hi Chris. Now we've got the ball dispenser out. We we'll look at the shaft on the top. We put our wrench on here. Then look underneath at the nut there. I'm expecting this to be loose. Um, when we put the wrench on there, you've got to remember to tighten it is anti-clockwise. So I'm going anti-clockwise to tighten here. Just to demonstrate that again, if we turn this around the other way, to undo it is clockwise. To tighten it up is anti-clockwise. It's good tight, good tight turn like this, and that should be it. And now we're going to reassemble again. Now if we find that that nut is not loose at all, and it's actually the shaft uh, turning, then we do have a problem, but I'm not expecting that. So now we're on to reassembly. We pop this underneath the little spring here, which controls the ball feed. Move it around a little bit until it locates on the top. Can be a bit stubborn at times. There we go. And then we spin that one anti-clockwise as well. Now we're in position, we just get the wrench again, like so. And we're now going to give that a quick tug towards the anti-clockwise position. And that should be all that's necessary. Now we'll just reassemble in the reverse order of how we disassembled it. So first we'll go on is this bar, screws either side with the plastic, black plastic behind the sides of the bar. Put the two nuts in there. When you put the nuts and bolts back, remember that you've got a screw with a washer then on the other side, a washer and the nylock nut, and they just go back through again. Now I'll start reassembling that, and we'll just come back for one final look at the fully assembled unit again. Chris, just a finishing touch now. Put the nylon guide back on again. So we do that anti-clockwise, spinner on, grab it underneath like this, and then just tighten it up. Then the control arm back in position. And that's it, we're done. Mind you, in the break, my colleague Damien was skiting a little bit because on the side of this ball machine, you can see we've got those names of Alan Border 
with 299 caps and uh, Merv Hughes with, let me have a look, 332 caps and we've even got the, uh, um, the Where accelerator is tube Where's Watson? which is not here with oh. Shane Watson's signature on too. So we're doing alright, we've got some high profile people having used the Canon machine. That's for cricket of course and not for tennis as you're using it mainly but it's a good, it's a good wrap. Okay Chris, I hope that it turns out easy for you. Um, I'm sending the tools down, there's nothing to buy um, and it should take you around about 20 minutes. If you've got any problems, give us a buzz. Cheers mate.